Hello, everybody. It's good to see you. So we're going to get back to the series on uh, visual aids for awakening and clearing. But today, I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you because I haven't talked to you directly in so long. And so what uh, I want to talk about is what I've been trying to talk to you about now ever since we met. Ever since you met me, I have been driving home one point and one point only. Well, maybe some other points too, but this is the main point. And the one that I have been trying to drive home is that you are oneness. I know that's impossible to believe because you look down at the body and you say, this can't be oneness. And if you do a, a, a circuit check <laughs> interior, on the interior of the body, you can see. No, this isn't oneness. And if you look around, you can see you live in a house. That's what I'm noticing. I live in a house. This can't be oneness. And, <clears throat> and I live in Columbia, South Carolina. And certainly oh, oneness is not doing anything with a Columbia, South Carolina, right? I mean, we're, we, most of the people are doing their best to avoid this. The, uh, it's my hometown, so, you know, I don't know any better. And uh, what I want to tell you is that um, in Columbia, South Carolina, water is wet. Now, that's going to be hard for you to get, imagine. I mean, since oneness is difficult for you to get, I can't imagine how you're ever going to get the idea that water is wet. Because that's what I've been teaching for the last 10 to 15 years, whatever it is. I've been teaching that water is wet. It's the most obvious thing that there is. And I know you hate to hear that. I hated it too. I just wanted to smack somebody in the jaw whenever I heard that. But it's true. The other one that really used to annoy me was you're already awake. And that was just a god. Mighty, it just make me mad. Why would they say that? Why would they say that? And I can tell you that the reason they said that is because it's true. You already are awake. You are already oneness. And you are already awake. You know why I know that you are awake? Because I am it too. I am it. See, there can't be really a you and a me. There can be the appearance of Fred and you. This is the Fred unit. That's some other unit. We can agree there's a, this is a wooden Buddha unit. See, this is a little skull unit. And that's a little, there's a skull unit and that's a little penguin unit, right? And that's whatever his name is, Han or Hanuman, whatever it is, the, the elephant god in India. You know, I just like elephants, so I got it up there. It's the way I decorate. But what we want to notice is whether we go to India, like up there, or we go to the ends of the earth, like this guy probably did before he died, or whether we sit down quietly and meditate like the Buddha did, wherever they were, water was wet. Wherever they were, there was only oneness. See, oneness can't be over there. Think about it. Is there any possibility that oneness is over there somewhere else? That's what we're waiting on, isn't it? Well, I mean, I, I thought I was going to see oneness. Listen, I had already had an awakening, and I was back so far in the dream that I couldn't remember at all anything other than the fact that I remembered that in, on some, some level that it seemed like I was God or something. That's about what a guy could remember. And uh, and I don't want to say I'm God, but I do want to say I'm oneness, and I don't know what that can be, because God can't be other than this. You know why? Because you're oneness, and there isn't anything other than this. Water is wet. See this? Here's water in this glass. Water is wet. See it's moving around? See it's splashing? It's wet all the way to the bottom of the glass. <laughs> From where the water starts to the bottom of the glass. It's wet. See, look. It's wet. See the wet finger? That's because this is water is wet. And this is what I've been trying to teach you for the last 10 or 15 years is that water is wet. In other words, 
that it's just completely obvious. It is a, it is just an, it, it, it is an, it is a fact that it's so basic that we don't even discuss it, right? But we have, there's a roof on this house, you know, wow, water is wet. And you know what rain is? It's water. I know that's hard to believe because it doesn't look like the water in my glass. But the rain can take any shape. Water can take just virtually any shape that it wants. It's the shape of the container, isn't it? Well, see, the reason you don't have a shape is that you don't have a container. Oneness is not in a container. That would be something other than oneness that oneness was sitting in. Water is wet. There is only oneness. Do the math of one. One thing. There's one thing going on. But is it water just wet in this glass or is it wet in um, other glasses? Well, it's wet in any glass I want. This is tea. You know what the tea is? It's water with some other stuff in it. And what's in this glass, the reason it's uh, this mug, the reason I have a mug there is because it's wet. If I try to hold it with my hands, I'm not going to be able to do that. Why? Because water is wet. You are oneness. You are oneness. Now, this is an empty can. Now, there was water in here. It also had V8 stuff in it. But it was water to start with. And it's water in the end. If I spill it, I don't go get a broom to wipe up vegetables <laughs> or to sweep off vegetables. I go get a cloth to wipe up the wet water that happens to contain some other stuff. You are oneness. Everything that you're seeing, everything that you're feeling, everything you're touching, this is all the content. So this is the content and you are oneness. And so we, we, you know, when you're thinking, well, where, where do I begin? You don't, you don't have a beginning. Well, if I don't have a beginning, at least where do I end? If there's no beginning, there can't be an end. So where, um, where do you think water is most wet? There are no degrees to wetness. Something's wet or it's not. Water is water is wet. Water is one of the things that's wet. It is the very thing that causes wetness. It's not the only thing that causes wetness, but it is the, ma the major thing that, it calls, uh, that causes wetness. When you go to a desert, what you're looking at, the reason they call it a debtor, debtor, desert is because there's no water there. <laughs> and so everything is just hanging on to the edge of life because it's going to rain sooner or later, even in the desert. And when it does, it'll be wet and it'll be in little drops, but it'll still be water. We go look at a lake. It's still water. It's still wet. And now, but now it doesn't look like little drops. Now it looks like a big old puddle. Great big puddle. We got boats in it, all that. And we go to the ocean. You know what that is? That's water. Now that's salt water. But so it means the content of that water is salty because it's got salt in it. But the water itself is wet. And that ocean, look, I, well, I don't have it on today. I usually have a ring on it of the ocean. And it shows the ocean and its waves. And you know what has waves like that? I mean, one of the things that has waves that look like the ocean's waves, the ocean. <laughs> water is wet. It's water, water is wet everywhere. It's not just wet in this glass. It's wet in every glass that is it, that has water in it. You can bet it's wet everywhere. It's not wet just in the United States or Columbia, South Carolina. It's wet in India. It's, it, it, it's wet in China. It's wet all over the world. South America, it's wet. We think that water, they say that water covers three quarters of the earth. Okay, but you don't co cover three quarters of anything. 
you are oneness. So that means that all the earth, the entire earth, is actually occurring inside of you. Everywhere. And it looks like different things because it takes the shape of the container. But we don't confuse the container for the water. Right? If, I, if, I, if I try to drink this can, I'm not going to have any luck at all. I'm just going to be waiting and waiting. Where is the water? Where is the water? Actually, some came out. I got some on my... <laughs> and it's wet. This is this simple. That's the reason I'm being so ridiculous with this video is because it is this ridiculously simple. There is only oneness. And the only thing that can recognize that there's only oneness is oneness. So quit trying to get that unit that is one little tiny speck, if you will. There's no division, but if we want to pretend there is, then that's one little tiny speck of oneness within oneness. There's no separation. See, there can't be any separation. You know why? Because it's just one thing going on. When there's just one thing, there's not anything else. So there's not one thing plus, it's not one thing minus, there's just the one thing. And just like water, the one thing is the one thing everywhere. And water is wet everywhere. That's ridiculously easy. What about oneness? It's only because you're not looking at this. You're really not. You're looking at it as if the unit has got something to figure out here. I'm told you it's not figure outable, but it is easily noticeable. Where is oneness? Got to be here, doesn't it? I mean, doesn't this have to be oneness? Seems like to me it has to be oneness. 